hey guys welcome back to my channel so today um i am going to be doing some like diy furniture casey and i are moving on monday i don't even know when i'm gonna get this thing up because we are like literally moving in less than a week and we have to move so fast um so i don't know when this is gonna go up it'll go up eventually but I posted on Instagram that I was getting, I wanted to get new furniture and all the furniture that I was looking at was super expensive. So I figured that I would just buy already used furniture and just paint it and like DIY it myself. I got this famous Ikea um, Hemnes or however, I don't even know, um, dresser off of Facebook market for a hundred bucks. It's usually like almost 300 on Ikea and then you like have to build it yourself. So I got it already built. Um, so I'm gonna sand it and paint it white and then I'm gonna change the um, knobs on there because it's missing one down there. But I got these like cute um, gold and clear ones. So I'm gonna do that. And then I've had this cubby forever. Um, and I was gonna get rid of it, but I just figured I would do the same thing and sand it and paint it white and then put it in my office. And it would be a really cute storage with like some cute wicker baskets and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I will show you what I'm going to use. I have this paint. It's like a paint and primer in one. And it's called the Bear Ultra Pure White. Um, Casey's going to get another one for me because I think I'm going to need two. But that's what I got. It was only like... 14 ish dollars at home depot and then i got a couple brushes i got this sandpaper 220 i think the person said you can do like from 150 to 220 i just got the finer one because both of these aren't real wood so you want something that's a little bit finer so you don't mess it up um and then i got just like a little top coat sealer so that it's nice and shiny after so yeah i'm gonna clean these off with some pledge first and then i'm gonna start sanding it and go from there this guy in half so it's like easier to use and hold um i only like read a blog post on like how to do it so like i got the kind of sandpaper this person got and i'm just like following the instructions they're very limited instructions so i'm kind of just winging this so let's hope that this actually works out and that i don't just mess all this up <laughs> So we sanded everything down and then re-cleaned it and I took all of like the knobs off of the dresser and now I'm just gonna go in with um, I'm just gonna go in with my brush and the paint and start painting everything.
Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We did, we sanded everything and then we did two coats of paint on this one. And then we did the same thing as two coats of paint, sanded everything. I'm still gonna do one more coat on both of these. Um, but I'm gonna let it dry overnight, wait till tomorrow cause it's late and I'm tired. But I'm gonna do another coat and then do like the sealer tomorrow and then I still need to do the drawers, but did pretty good today for the amount of stuff that I had to paint. But yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so everything is now painted and dried. I did about three coats on everything. Um, I did like a little bit extra on some certain spots that still needed it, but I think it looks really good. Okay, um, I had to redo something and do a pit stop to <laughs> pick up this guy. Um, I had got the wrong like sealer and like I was trying to seal it and it was like turning everything <laughs> like brown because it was like a wood sealer for like actual like wood color. So it was like a stain and sealer. So I had to repaint my cubby and go get something else but I'll show you what it is so the guy said I actually needed this it's like a and it's actually gonna be a lot easier because it's like a spray so instead of painting everything on to seal it I'm just gonna spray all of this so I'm just gonna spray all of this with a clear coat and then I'll let it dry and then we should be done and then I'll put the knobs on and all that So it's time to put the knobs on. I got these super cute knobs from Amazon. They're like a gold and acrylic. They were pretty cheap too. Um, so we're just gonna drill these in. This is pretty dry. And this is what it looks like. They all came out super nice. And now we're gonna drill in these. First you need your handy dandy husband to use his handy dandy drill. Okay, so we had some hiccups, <laughs> messed up the uh, knob on there, and this guy came broken, so I had to fix that. But overall, it turned out pretty nice. If you don't look too closely, you won't be able to tell. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of DIY today. Okay, so that was a mission in itself. Um, they turned out great. We had a lot of hiccups. Had to go to Home Depot a lot of times in the day. But I think overall, they turned out pretty good. Um, so if you are trying to do some DIY furniture stuff, learn from my mistakes. Don't try to put knobs on when the paint has only dried for a couple hours you should definitely wait for the next day don't be impatient like me um what else buy the right primer not the primer buy the right sealer top coat especially if you're painting something white don't get the one that's meant for wood like dark wood because then it's gonna mess up your white paint and then you're gonna have to repaint the whole thing again so yeah i will leave everything that i use in the description box down below um i have to return one of the knobs to amazon because one got sent to me broken so if you do order these amazon ones just make sure they all work and be careful and 
like I said earlier, don't put the knobs on when your paint is still wet because it'll mess up. But <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat DIY video. Um, again, I don't know when I'm gonna get this up because we are moving in a couple days. And I still have another video that I need to edit to get up to IGTV, so I will try to get this up as fast as possible. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.